Hello my scrappy friends and welcome to my channel once again today. Another share for Anna's Craft Cupboard and I am once again using the Simple Stories Oh Happy Day collection. This is the page I'm scrapbooking and it is of my big boy on his ninth birthday and um, I actually had a lot of fun with this. This collection is seriously fun to play with. These are the two photos I'm scrapping. You can see I've got that pattern paper on my cameo mat. What I've done is just picked a font and cut a big nine and then I use my cameo also to draw a pencil line um, offset on the inside so that I could do some stitching lines. Uh, you can see that I've poked holes all the way around. I'm going to show you a little bit of my stitching. Um, it's just a simple back stitch so you come up one hole. I just use regular sticky tape to tape it in place then I come back up the next hole and down through the first hole and then up through the next one and back down through the one before. I hope that makes sense. Um, there are lots of other tutorials on YouTube though that are probably better at explaining it. Um, but I don't make you watch this. I think that's all of it. Yeah, so that's my nine all done. I have placed my photos and my number nine on my background where I want them. And I'm just using a pencil to outline the photos and the nine. I want to do a little bit of mixed media just to separate uh, the photos and the number from the background. I'm not going to go too crazy with the mixed media. I just wanted to add more colour wash than anything. So I've got some plastic packaging there and some grey acrylic paint. I'm adding some water to that to water it down a bit and then I'm going to pull out some white paint as well to make it a lighter shade of grey. Make sure I put the lid on that so I don't spill it everywhere. You can see I'm just making quite a light shade of grey there and I'm just going to follow those pencil lines <clears throat> all the way around just adding a bit more water to make it more liquidy um, and you can see that that colour is not really dark. I just wanted a little bit of like shadowing around. It's really simple. Um, I'm pretty sure that I have kept the whole process in but sped it up a fair bit for you because it's not all that exciting and it's certainly not complicated. Just putting my nine back to check how it's looking. Yeah, I have. I've sped this up. You can see I'm just adding a bit more paint. <clears throat> I'm moving that colour around a little bit. really happy with how this looks. I'm going to come back in with some splatters. I'm just going to add some more water. I'm just using the area behind where my photos are going to get some of the colour off before I go around the edges. I'm going to add a bit more water I think. I'm not sure. Loading that paint paintbrush up and I'm just going to splatter all the way around where I've done that painting just in that grey as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's my mixed media all dry. Um, I was pretty sure I was going to go with Hello 9 for my title and I start, um, this is what I end up going with, I start with this Hello chipboard piece. Now I'm not sure, um, there's a couple of videos where my recording is a bit low so I do apologise, um, not my recording, where the camera's a bit low so I'm sorry for that. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to go with Hello 9 as my title. So I'm going to add a couple of layers behind my photo. I decide that my favourite one, the one with the balloon over his face, I want to highlight. So I'm going to add tissue paper behind both photos. That's just white tissue paper. And then I'm going to add a couple of layers of pattern paper behind that photo that you can see face up now. Just adding a few messy layers and then trimming them down. I'm 
let's start with this pattern paper. I'm going to distress the edges, which I did off camera, so you don't need to see me doing nothing. And then I'm going to come in with this rainbow stripe as well. I'm pretty sure I tear the edge on that too. That could be incorrect. And this is just, yeah, this is the back of the paper that I used to make that big nine. All of the information, all of the names of the papers are in the blog post, which I'll make sure I link below. I'm going to add foam just to that photo and not to this one, because that one's going to be packed underneath my nine. <clears throat> Make sure I'm happy with the placement there. You can see up on the top left there, I did pull out some rainbow thickers and I did try to get them to work, but um, they weren't bold enough. That uh, is a chipboard sticker and it says be bright, uh, be bright, be bold, be you, which is definitely my big boy. Uh, I wanted somewhere to do some journaling, so I have used a tag from my stash to cut a tag with one of the pattern papers from the collection and I'm just adding a few bits and pieces you can see I've got I managed to get a llama on the page I used a llama I'm so excited uh, that rainbow uh, banner thing next to the chipboard says special day and then I decided to add in another yellow piece next to the hello and then that gives me a yellow triangle around the photo. I do try adding a couple of other things here but decide that I just like that yellow circle and that says happy. Remember my title is hello happy nine? I don't know. Um, I do muck around a fair bit with adding this and taking that and then taking that away and adding this and I did chop most of that out because it just wasn't very exciting to watch. I'm going to start sticking down now and I'm just going to make sure I use a combination of uh, foam and flat tape. Wanted, like I said, I wanted to add a tag behind here for some more journaling. I'm just uh, tracing around the outside of the tag I've created and I'm going to add some craft foam around where I've traced so that there's somewhere for that tag to slide in and out of quite easily. And I muck around with the foam here for a little while thinking that I've got it right and then I have to go back in and then I have to take it off and then I have to add more. So I cut that off and then I added it back in and then I took this piece off and then I had to add more in somewhere. I, it was a bit of a schmozzle of stuff. <laughs> <coughs> What am I doing? I'm going to stick down my photos. I'm just using my APG. Stick that down first and then I'm going to stick down my nine. I apply APG to the back of the paper where the paper is being stuck and then I apply scotch tacky glue onto the foam. I've added I think three layers of foam behind that word hello so it sits flat. And I've just used my tacky glue to stick that little yellow circle as well. I decided I wanted a bit more colour and I saw this little bit on the branding strip from one of the other pattern papers. So I've cut that off. I'm going to distress that. <coughs> to apologise for my voice. It is nine o'clock at night and I wanted to get this voice over done before I went to bed. I'm also not 100% well. So I'm going to stick that behind my photos but in front of my tag. I just like the pop of colour it brings. And then I pull out this pattern paper and I create another tag that I end up using just the top of. Just for another layer there. That one goes there. That one goes there. I think I chop a bit more off it. Yeah. 
I'm happy with how that's looking, so I'm going to glue that down. Um, that centerpiece from the nine I used with my hole punch there to punch the hole reinforcers. Um, I thought that black would be a good contrast. And I've kind of got black evenly around the page. Going to thread some black and white twine through my tag. And you can see with my yellow one here, I've doubled the twine over. And then threaded it through. And then I've just cut the loop so that I've got what looks like two strands of twine going through. Um, I haven't added the journaling to that other tag yet, but I, um, I do off camera. I'm going to add in a few enamel dots just for a few pops of colour. And then I'm going to add my journaling, <clears throat> excuse me, down the bottom. I'm going to draw it in with a pencil first. And it says, and just like that, a fun-loving, happy, rainbow-loving eight-year-old <clears throat> is suddenly nine. Many happy returns, my boy, and I hope that nine is the most magical yet. Love, Mum. Uh, there are some more things that I want to write on that tag that are a bit more personal. That's why I put the tag there. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to come in with some black splatters. I'm just using a little paintbrush and my Colour Blast um, Colour Spray in Road Base, which is the flat black. And I'm just sprinkling that around. Pulled my tag out. I didn't want to get any splatters on that. Pretty sure that after the splatters, I give you a close-up. No, I just say goodbye. And here are the close-up photos. This was a super fun page to put together. Um, I love these photos of my boy. They're so cute. He was so happy to find all these balloons uh, in the morning of his birthday. Um, so, yeah, this is a super fun collection to play with. I have some more layouts coming up with this collection. I'm really excited to share them with you. So make sure you come back. Uh, if you have any questions, please make sure you leave them below um, or just say hi. I love chatting to you guys. Thank you ever so much for stopping by. I hope that you have enjoyed my second share and I will be back again very soon with another one. Thanks for stopping by.